Hey everyone, my name is Adesha and welcome to RWA. Today we are covering the respiratory system. Breathing is basically essential to your survival. Thankfully it happens automatically. You don't really have to think about it. You inhale or take in oxygen needed for energy and growth as well and exhale or breathe out carbon dioxide. How does the respiratory system react to exercise? How does the respiratory system react to exercise? React, respond, basically the same as this. Well, let's check. Since your body uses oxygen for energy, already mentioned there, let's take a closer look. I'm just gonna zoom in and yeah. Hold the run meter and oh! The respiratory system is going faster than it usually is. You can see that, right? Now it's going slower, but keeping it running. Oxygen is meant to be taken in by the nose and carbon dioxide is usually exhaled by the mouth or nose. So, should we take a closer look? What's that? Oh, right. I forgot to introduce you to the parts. Right here is the trachea. The windpipe. You might hear it's called the windpipe because it's, it's a pipe that contains, well, wind. I'm pretty sure you can guess what I'm talking about. It's a pipe or a part of the body that looks like a pipe that leads air towards the lungs and out of the lungs. Here is, here is a lung. The right lung is bigger than the left lung because the left lung has more heart space being taken. The right lung has less heart space being taken. Oh yeah, and the heart is right in between the lungs. I'll show you. See that? Right in between. Is it? Now, going back. Here's the diaphragm. There is some more muscles. Oh. Right, you can't see it. But I will show you something. Go into the skeletal system. What do you notice? Well, it still works. I mean, that's creepy, but still, what else do you notice? The lungs never go out of the, well, rib cage. They seem to go out when you're only focusing on the respiratory system, but they don't. Pretty cool, right? That's because there's also some muscles that when you're exhaling, they grow bigger and compress themselves. They don't get tight. They compress themselves up. They kind of fatten themselves so that the lungs have less space, forcing them to exhale. Which is exactly what's happening. Think about it. I'll let you take a deep breath in, hold it for a while, and then exhale. I bet you've already done that. That feels nice, does it? A nice, big, fresh, fresh breath of air. 
Huh. Anyways, on to the inside. Air into the lungs with the help of muscle called the diaphragm. The lungs expand to fill with air when you breathe in. Your lungs contract when you breathe out. Take a look at the diaphragm. What does the diaphragm do when you breathe in? What about when you breathe out? Good question, Tiny Bob Schools. You can already see here that the diaphragm gets bigger when breathing out. Breathing out. But smaller when breathing in. You can see that right there. Here's the right lung trachea or if you're in a lower grade the windpipe here is the left okay what's this alveoli bronchioles oh wow to get energy to run jump at, or even dance your body uses oxygen to burn sugars from food what relation does oxygen have with burning burning is just something combining with oxygen yeah, I know. I ruined fireworks. Carbon dioxide is created as a waste product. When you breathe out, your lungs remove the carbon dioxide from your body. Because you can't have carbon dioxide in your body, that would probably just suffocate you. Oh, and fun fact, contrary to popular belief, Carbon dioxide isn't actually poisonous. It's carbon monoxide, monoxide. Pay attention on the mono, keyword mono, that is actually poisonous. Dioxide has exactly two oxygens in its molecule, but monoxide has only one, which means it's really poisonous. It's clear and it can't be detected by, well, any normal means. You can't see it, you can't hear it, you can't smell it, you can't taste it. Nothing like that. Going on to the next ones. Over here are your bronchioles. Sorry for all that lag. So you can see here that these are your bronchioles tiny tree like tubes that branch out in the lungs zooming in we can already see the bronchioles in action and these are the alveoli check it out do you see that red and blue on the alveoli i bet you do so, those are arteries and veins, covered in the circulatory system video. Well, I don't really have much to say, but, fun fact, the only reason that the alveoli are covered by so much blood vessels, that it looks bad to be honest, is, guess what? The fact that the oxygen has to go into the blood for it to travel around the body. If you didn't follow along with me in the cardiovascular system lesson, you probably don't know this. If you did, congrats! You're a good fan. Thanks for doing this with me. Anyways, that's all for the video. Thanks for following along with me and actually learning something with me today. I hope you really actually had fun today. So, peace out. Adisha, out. Ah, yeah. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye-bye and see you in the next video.